Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet ribbing along a project so that you don't have to crochet the ribbing and then seam it to the project. This way you are working the ribbing while you are connecting it along the edge. Work in rows along this way as you can see right here but you're also joining into this edge and so it creates a really nice finish that also saves a lot of time. You can use any type of ribbing for this project. So you can use a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, worked into the first loop, the third loop, the back loop, or even through both loops. Today I'm using a half double crochet worked into the third loop. So I will be referencing this ribbing pattern, but I just wanted to let you know that you can use any kind of ribbing as well as you can use this for any type of project. So today I am going to show you how do you do this technique on a cardigan, but you can use this on any type of garment, blanket, or hat. It's a really versatile technique that you can use on um, a variety of different projects. So to begin, I just wanted to note again that we are working in rows um, along here and along this edge here. So at the end or beginning of each row, depending on where you are in the row, you're going to be joining into this line here. So I just wanted to let you know a little bit of how it works before we start. But to actually start the ribbing, you're going to want to start by making a slip knot and then join into the first stitch using a slip stitch. And then chain however many stitches you want for that ribbing. I will be chaining eight plus one for the turning chain. Okay, so to begin row one, um, I'm going to work one half double crochet in the second chain from my hook and in every stitch. And again, you can use any ribbing technique such as single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet worked into the front loop, the back loop, or even the third loop um, using this technique. I am just using half double crochets in the third loop for this tutorial. So I just finished row one. And so now we're going to join along this edge. So slip stitch into that next stitch. And then slip stitch into the next stitch after that. So you've made two slip stitches into two separate stitches. So now to start row two, chain one and turn. And then you're going to work one stitch or one in my case one half double crochet into each of the half double crochets and you want to make sure that you're not working into the slip stitches those do not count as a stitch those are just there to attach along this edge Okay, so I just finished row two, so I'm going to chain one and turn, and then do the exact same thing, so one half double crochet in every stitch. So I'm at the end of row three, so now I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then again slip stitch into the next stitch after that and then chain one and turn okay 
crochet, chain one and turn, and then again, one half double crochet in every stitch. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. So slip stitch into that next stitch, and then slip stitch again into the next stitch, and then chain one and turn. And this is pretty much it. Um, you're going to continue repeating this um, all the way around your project or whatever you're making. So along the edge you want to make sure to make two slip stitches into two separate stitches um, and then just work the row like normal on this side it's completely normal just chain one turn um, along this edge as you can see it's not clear defined stitches like it is right here so it is a little bit of estimating and just trying to work along this edge as evenly as possible um, even though there aren't stitches so just trying to make it even across there but I hope you enjoy this tutorial and that you found it helpful I really love this technique because it saves a lot of time because you don't have to do seam, you don't have to crochet it and then seam it it's all worked in one so it saves a lot of time and I think it looks a lot cleaner too as you can see it creates a really nice clean edge so thank you so much for watching this video um, I hope you found this tutorial really helpful um, please like this video and subscribe so you never miss any crochet videos or tutorials